Borboran for this tip-off brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. We welcome you inside the Big Dome for a second game of this PBA double header. And as uh, you can see, that's an alternate dark jersey for the Rain or Shine Elasto Painters. Kicking it, kicking it old school with a well-coat Dragons attire. Well, yeah, that's uh, kind of a classic. Who have roots with Welco, of course, including uh, Coach Ye. Uh, Coach Ye. Coach in, in basketball, of course, there'll be highs and lows so when it comes to a team. There will be times when you just can't catch a break, can't seem to win a contest. What's the mentality like? How do you keep your players? It's really hard to motivate the players. No, they're all down. They don't know. You know what's what's wrong you know they, they you tend to blame yourself and sometimes your team motivated still fighting still competing because as uh, rainer shine showed in our last conference you can come back from a losing skid to start the conference oh yeah definitely and this is certainly a good idea for the five rexers in his pba career recovering from an acl injury that he suffered fortunately to get the reaction that's a steal coming from the rainer shine that has to painters and borboran Gets a basket in transition. Early lead here by Converge, but was cut down to one point because of that turnover. Seven to six, still a one point advantage for the Fiber Xers. Two man game. Stockton rejects the screen, sends the pass outside. Three point shot is good for King Caralipio. That's a big shot there by Caralipio, giving them a four point lead early here in the fourth. When, when you are on a downward spiral, it's crucial for you to have a good start. Because this is certainly exactly what they wanted. Another opportunity to get one more point off the free throw. They might be better off with Stockton defending. Sherwin Conception getting an opportunity to start in this ball game. His minutes have been uh, spotty to say the least. As Bo Belga hits the three-point shot on this entire situation. John and Clarito posting up against a smaller defender in De Los Santos. Clarito just muscling his way inside. One-two punch to continue leading the Fiber Xers in the coming years as Justin Arana and Alex Stockton signed maximum contract extensions last month. The duo have been re-signed for another three years with maximum salaries. But of course, this fresh deal also did not come without its own challenges. Arana admits hearing feelers from other PBA clubs, but the reigning PBA Rookie of the Year says he is committed to helping the Converge Fiber Xers establish a winning culture here in the PBA. He says after re-signing this new deal, he is more thankful and he commits to double his efforts in order to help his team. Now, can this duo help the Converge get their first W tonight? That's what we'll find out. Back to you. Thank you for that report. It's Pauline as we have triples on both ends of the floor. Both these teams in the bottom three so far alongside the Phoenix Fuel Masters. Good outlet pass and Sean Ildefonso will go all the way. That's a textbook fast break. Flipping thing. Smooth basketball. Elbow jumper will not work. Asisio picks up his own miss. Paredes was blocked there by Fleming, but another opportunity for the Elasto Painters. It's been a while since Papo Paredes played a PBA game, so he'll have to be a little patient with himself. It will not come automatically. But he's getting a good minutes early in this ball game. Santillan with a one-hander signature move from Santi. Leonard. Turns, pivots, oh, Papa almost. Paredes did not catch it clean, but they will retain possession. Asisio, elbow jumper, no good. Rebound for Fornilios. Melesho on the drive, layup is good against Ildefonso. Still deadlock, 27-27. Belga, nice cut, Asisio with the layup. That was a good backdoor play there by Asisio. To score for the Lasso Painters to try and add on to this two-point lead. Il Defonso missed out on a couple of threes. Attacks, yes. gets the basket and the foul. First half. That's his, probably, that's his six points. And, and with his size, handing it over, uh, did not connect well with Andrade, but they will keep possession. 
This is a little off in the offense, but they find a way to get a basket and a foul, courtesy of Justin Arana. And, uh, you know, he's been struggling a bit here in the first half. And hopefully this 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 basket will give you know these young guards played well enough for Rainer Shine to say that yeah I, I guess we can trade away Reina Bata who used to be one the, of those yes. young players who we thought would be you know one of the cornerstones of the franchise. Well the the way Nokum is playing. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean not in this ball game because of an illness, but yes. so far the kids are going to be all right for the Rainer Shine Elasto Painters. 37 to 35 is still the count. Mamoyak scoops it up and in. That, that's really what what you like to see for Rainer Shine. The long strides of Mamoyak. Able to find that angle. Drives inside. I was trying to get the bump there. No call. Nine seconds remaining. Belga with the pass. Then Moses scores down low. As Belo will send it out to the Muses first. There's a mismatch. Mo Belga doesn't care. He goes all the way as he waltzes his way to the paint for a layup and one. Get those three pointers. It, it will not be the quickest drive you'll see, <laughs> but he was able to keep Justin Arana behind right. him for this best move. Counter attack here for the Fiber Xers. Stockton with a quick move and Aww. one. Natulak siya doon ni Macbello, no? You were right. There was a push coming from uh, Macbello perhaps, but there was a Ayun. swipe as well oh, from behind. Oh, yeah. And Alex Stockton. Yun na yun eh. 15 free yun throws. Yun, oh. That's you will the really ball think, game right there. Yeah, you will really think hard about those missed shots. Ryan Santos again. Tremendous in reading those closeouts and attacking as he adds to his tally with 7 now. Quick 3 will not work. The Muses wins out the rebound. That's wow. all out effort for Nick. Yes, big rebound there by the Muses. Keeping that ball alive and putting it back for two points. Nice little push off coming from Shawnee, but he will miss the jumper. Forward pass. Il Defonso, another one. Sean has been the recipient of all those pass break plays of Rain or Shine. He's been in the right place at the right time. 13 points now to tie the output of their leading scorer, Bo Belga. But if Defonso has done it in spurts, not a lot of time on the floor as Shawnee converts from downtown. Timely three-pointer there uh, just to keep the lead closer for Rainer Shine. That was a double-digit advantage for the Rainer Shine Elasto Painters slash Welco Dragons. Good drive from Santillan. As he, as he take another look at this layup and conversion from Leonard Santillan drawing the foul from Fleming, who approves of it. You can see that was a very short break for Bo Belga back in the ball game alongside Gabe Norwood. Gabe, the lefty layup oh, is good. Wow. That was a good layup there by using his left on that shot. Shawnee Winsor with the pass. Arana denied by Belga. He completes the stop with the board. Karakut goes on the drive. Kicks it out to Santillan. Belga down low. That one-legged fadeaway oh. drops in. Good look there by uh, Santillan. He was scoring a big one. Defensively as well. For the, uh, for the Rainer Shine Elasto Painters, limited converge to only 16. They're trying to go on the run here. Inan Pornilios. Good dish to Arana for the easy finish. That was, not, that was not a nice save there for Rainer Shine that gave the opportunity. But again, another assist for Bo. Nine One more. assist of the matchup. Yep. 15 points, 11 boards, 9 dimes for Bo Belga. Bo will try from deep. Yes. That's good. Everything. He's doing everything. Norwood sends it to Santillan. Santi given space. And that will not be recorded in the statistics, but that was a good seal screen right. from Bo Belga. Belga. Correct. And, and these are the tough moments of the match where you have to show grit if you are the converged fiber exers. How will you figure out how to try and come back into this ball game as you face a huge deficit now? Yeah, all of a sudden, they like, loosen up the defense of Converge, and that's giving Rainer Shine yeah. an easy shots just like that. 
will be a timeout requested by the Converge Fiber Xers because those are unmolested baskets. Yeah, nobody rotated there on that uh, emptying of the corner. Back inside the big dome for the fourth quarter of this matchup, Justin Arana finally gets one over the defense of Bo Belga, but they need a lot more coming from him and the rest of the crew to get back into it. They're still staring at a big 17-point deficit with nine and change remaining in this match. Yeah, earlier, there was a miscommunication there on the, the defensive rotation. Got Belga open. Another assist for Bo Belga. As nope. they've dug a deep yeah. hole here in the fourth quarter. Yep, the, the lead is balloon to 19 points. Oh, it'll balloon even make, further. Yeah, make that 22. 22 points. As Leonard Santillan converts on a triple. 17 points, 9 boards. Melesho, that look is open and there he converts go. from the corner. Defense will surely be paramount for the Converge Fiber Xers here in the final quarter. And during that last timeout, Coach Alden Aya reminded his players to tighten up their defensive efforts in order to disrupt Rainer Shine's rhythm. He urged them to be more aggressive on both ends as he also reminded them to execute their set plays with precision while putting an emphasis on taking over inside the paint and not allow Rainer Shine to have any of those easy baskets. Gentlemen? Well, it will take all of that and a lot more coming from Converge just to get back into the this game as Bo Belga continues to show us the wares in this career performance. No, but not voted in as an all-star. So he took the time to recharge. Will that be considered an assist? If, if uh, Gabe made that shot. Well, Bo Belga will stay on the floor with six and a half remaining as Stockton converts on this layup. Back-to-back -back baskets here for uh, Converse who got the team now to 20. Still a long ways to go, but they have to start start somewhere and, and not not allowing Rainer Shine yeah. to score. Again. They have to make a, stops. A lot of times it has looked easy to score for mm. the Rainer Shine, right. the last two painters. And and that's what happens, Coach E, when everyone is sharing the ball. Yes. It, it opens things up because but, all of the defenders will have to commit completely to their own man. Exactly. Yeah, it's your, they become very unpredictable. Mm -hmm. They're hard to guard. And, Shawnee Winston against Norwood. Shawnee gets the step, but misses. Oh, easy pickup there on the rebound as JL De Los Santos scores. <laughs> and why not, Bo? Take all the rest you want. Pero na isahan sila doon, itong si Shawnee Winston. But that was, not, that was not Belga's man. Yeah. Oh. Nakao play there for Converts now. Converts employing a double teaming defense to there create some yep. turnovers and get easy baskets off this. Transition. Arana of that sidestep. So, same same thing, I'm sure, for Sean. Pick things up with Leonard Santillan converting on a triple. So, yun na lang talaga yung na lang. Di na uhulog. Na lang, yeah. yeah, but you know, with the system of coaching, magkakaroon ka talaga ng three point shot. Eh. Bo Belga ahead. There you Belga go. with the left hand, 25 points yeah. again. Tremendous all around performance. Notching his first ever PBA triple double. Yep, one for the books for Bo Belga. His team was a whopping plus 22 when he was on the floor. Wow. Coach. And that's just the beauty of having someone like Bo Belga in your squad. Coach, very quietly, Karakot. Also has a double double with 15 points and 10 oh. assists. Make that 11 of the dunk coming from Santillan. Bo Belga just had his first triple double in his career, scoring 25 points, 12 rebounds. And Figure things out because playoff hopes currently dim for them. Yep. Sherwin Concepcion knocks it down from downtown. So this will be a back to back win for. Uh, Rain or shine. I think this is what happened also last conference. Six straight after losing five straight yes. to open the conference. As Alex Stockton gets another basket. He has 13 points. As a Converge Fiber Xers will suffer another defeat of this classic Bo Belga performance to lead Rain or Shine to this 110 to 90 victory.